Still in service after 60 years, the Grumman E-2 Hawkeye is an all-weather, carrier-capable tactical airborne early warning aircraft called AEW. AEW is an airborne radar system designed to detect aircraft, ships, vehicles, missiles, and other incoming projectiles at long ranges and perform command and control of the battle space in an air engagement by directing fighter and attack aircraft strikes. This Grumman E-2 Hawkeye are also used to carry out surveillance, including over ground targets and frequently perform battle management command and control. first flew in 2007, the Grumman E-2D Hawkeye was developed in 2003 by the Grumman Aircraft Company for the United States Navy as a replacement for the earlier E-2C version. Being a carrier-based aircraft, the E-2D is equipped with a tail hook for landings and is capable of using the aircraft carrier's catapults for takeoff. The Grumman E-2D Hawkeye is fully upgraded to meet the needs of a modern Navy. The total estimated cost for the upgrades is $2 billion. The new upgrades features on the Hawkeye included the new APY-9 radar featuring both mechanical and electronic scanning capabilities, fully integrated all-glass tactical cockpit, advanced identification friend or foe system, new mission computer and tactical workstations, electronic support measures enhancements, modernized communications and data link suite. True 360 degree radar coverage provides uncompromised all weather tracking and situational awareness, open architecture compliant. Commercial off the shelf based hardware and software enables rapid cost wise technology refresh for consistent leading edge mission tools, a true force multiplier through network enabled capability and multi mission flexibility ranging from command and control through missile defense to border security. The aircraft's electronic support measure system can detect and classify targets at distances beyond radar limits. The APY-9 radar can detect smaller targets and more of them at a greater range. The E-2D's radar and identification friend or foe system can detect targets at ranges in excess of 345 miles. The Grumman E-2D Hawkeye is a game changer in how the Navy conducts battle management command and control. By serving as the digital quarterback to sweep ahead of strike, manage the mission, and keep the net-centric carrier battle groups out of harm's way, the Grumman E-2D Hawkeye is the key to advancing the mission, no matter what it may be. The E-2D gives the warfighter expanded battle space awareness, especially in the area of information operations delivering battle management, theater air and missile defense, and multiple sensor fusion capabilities in an airborne system. With a two-generation leap in radar sensor capability and a robust network-enabled capability, the Advanced Hawkeye delivers critical, actionable data to joint forces and first responders. These advances provide warfighters with the necessary situational awareness to compress the time between initial awareness and active engagement. The Grumman E-2D Hawkeye has a crew of five, including two pilots and three mission systems operators with the option for the co-pilot to act as fourth mission systems operator. The three systems operators included radar operator, air control officer, and combat information center officer. The radar operator responsible for maintaining the radar, data links, and passive detection systems. While the air control officer is guy controlling most of the air wing assets. The air control officer may have up to 20 airplanes under his control. And the combat information center officer is the mission commander who is usually the most senior person on the aircraft. The airborne command and control planes have been in operation in the carrier air wing since 2015. Until the year of 2020, they are not been able to refuel in the air. When the planes get low on fuel, regardless of what targets they are tracking or what communications they are helping relay, they need to circle back to the aircraft carrier, land, and refuel on the flight deck. Nowadays, the U.S. Navy has an aerial refueling capability to its E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Command and Control Fleet, and the first operational squadron has been certifying its pilots to refuel with Air Force tankers. The refueling modification started to build into the 46th plane in late 2020, costing an additional $2 million per aircraft, and the Navy plans to retrofit the feature on all previous Hawkeyes for $6 million per plane.
The aircraft became popular after unfortunately crashed on March 2022. A Navy E-2D Hawkeye assigned to an East Coast Airborne Command and Control Squadron crashed in the vicinity of Wallops Island and Chincoteague, Virginia. It is reported the aircraft had to ditch following dual engine failure. The aircraft was partially submerged near Wildcat Marsh on the north part of Chincoteague. One crew member died and two others were rescued in the accident. 